All right, this is a tutorial on the basics of keyframing in Lightwave. I'm going to turn on Bone X-Ray so we can see the bones in this character. This guy is a mascot I made for the universe I work for, Old Dominion University. He's the ODU Monarch uh, Lion guy. And so anyway, you can see he's all rigged up with IK and he's ready to roll. So keyframing in Lightwave <coughs> is the most important aspect of creating animation. Uh, unless you're doing totally dynamic animation, you need to keyframe. And as you can see down here, the most important thing is the auto key. Uh, I usually leave this on. Some of the old timers in Lightwave uh, like to leave that off and manually key. If you have auto key on, all you have to do is grab this time slider and move it to the frame that you want, then move an object where you want, and a keyframe will be created. I'll move it over here so it's easier to see. And as you see, when a keyframe is created, a little tick happens in the uh, timeline here. And also, a motion path is drawn, so you can see how it's moving. And the little ticks on the motion path, let me zoom in so you can see those. Little ticks on the motion path will show you basically how fast or slow the item is moving through space. And if you scrub through the timeline, you can see that it's moving and interpolating between these keyframes. <clears throat> You can also see these keyframes by bringing up the uh, Scenic uh, Editor window. And you'll see that here, the Dope Sheet, which is a great new addition to Lightwave's character animation tools, will show you the keyframes as these colored blocks. So there are many different ways to, to view and look at the keyframes. Uh, and also, if you hit Control F2, you'll bring up the Graph Editor. And the Graph Editor will also display the keyframes via the different channels of this item. So you see there's a different channel for the different items. So target position X has not changed. There is no keyframe for that. <clears throat> but Y, as you can see, Y has a keyframe and you can manipulate the uh, channel data in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so that's uh, one way to create keyframes. Let's look at uh, the options for creating keyframes. Hit D to bring up your, your options. And in general, options uh, you'll you'll see all these settings here, and uh, the one that you're interested in for uh, keyframe creation is auto key create. Right now it's set to modify channels. If you turn it off, you're turning off auto auto keying completely, which means you'll have to manually create a keyframe. I'll show you how to do that in a second. It's set to the default as modify channels. So as you can see, when we moved this item here, we did not change its x coordinate. So when we brought up the graph editor the X position uh, was not changed, so there was no keyframe created for that. Uh, if we change this to all channels, then regardless of whether you have manipulated that channel or not, it will have a keyframe created for it. So for one keyframe, you're going to have <coughs> keyframes potentially for <coughs> these um, all these different channels of data. So that's something to, to keep in mind, that there's two different types of keyframes, basically. There's a global keyframe, which is shown here in the timeline, and then there's a keyframe for all the channels. And depending on what type of animation you want to do, you may want a keyframe for all these items on the channel, and you may not. Um, the other way to create a keyframe is to manually create one by hitting Enter key, and it will bring up the keyframe requester, and you can create a keyframe. It will take the the default is it will take the um, keyframe data of the current frame and put it on the frame that you want. So if we want to create a uh, copy of this keyframe on frame 20, we can hit that and just hit enter. And now you see down here we have another keyframe. A note, <coughs> this is not the standard Lightwave keyframe creation thing when you hit enter. Uh, this is a plugin, Create Key Plus. If you go to flay.com and do a search for this, You'll find it. It is a superb uh, free plugin, and uh, totally worth your time. Because what you can do is you can you can put keyframes on selected items, current item, all items, uh, I, current item and descendants, and you can choose the type of keyframe, which is very important. Linear is for making a flat keyframe. I'll show you in a moment, or a flat tangent to these keys. And uh, there's the different types. The default is the TCB spline. So let's the default at frame 20. I'll show you in a second what that means. So those are the different ways you can create keyframes. You can manip manipulate the data, you can bring up the key requester, 
And um, then there's another way, which is you can go into the dope sheet, you can grab a keyframe, select it, right click, and then you can copy this. Let's do this one since it's different. We can copy this keyframe. Let's go over to this keyframe here and we'll overwrite it. And we'll paste over this, right click and paste over or paste insert depending on what you are planning on doing. And now as you'll see, we've copied that keyframe data from frame zero and pasted it on frame 20. <clears throat> so those are different ways that you can do it. Another way to do it is, as you see here, this little hash mark on top of the timeline, uh, the cursor changes. If you click on this, you get an extra timeline. And this is uh, the, the dope sheet for um, IK Booster, but you can use it with regular keyframing. If you left drag and select keyframes, let's select a couple keyframes, you can manipulate the keys just by dragging them around. Or you can uh, select it, right click, and then you'll have a host of options which are falling off the page right now. But you can, um, you can do the same stuff. You can cut keys, copy keys, paste keys, and delete keys, and all that. And you can move things back and forth. <clears throat> also, if you, let's see, is it Alt? Yes, if you hold down Alt and drag a selected keyframe, you have duplicated that keyframe. So as you can see, we've done that. You can also do that same thing by bringing up this uh, <clears throat> dope sheet and holding out Alt and dragging a selected keyframe, and now you have duplicated that keyframe. So now, as you can see, we have a bunch of keyframes. And you can also see here um, something I wanted to bring up. Let's click on the Modify tab. Now, what we did, it was kind of quick. I took this keyframe from frame zero, and I alt-dragged it over here to frame, what, five. And